everyone! Welcome to One Pot Meals with Kate. That's me. And today we are going to make one of my favorite comfort dishes. It is pork belly soup. This dish is so easy to make with very few ingredients. And now that I have a crock pot, I can just set it and forget it. To start, I'm going to take two pounds of pork belly. Just put that on my cutting board. Now this pork belly I picked up at Costco. And as you know, everything they sell at Costco is in bulk quantity. So I broke this up and in this package I have about two pounds of pork belly. So this pork belly is actually not cut that thick. All I'm going to do is cut them into about one inch cubes and drop them into the crock pot. And since pork belly is so fatty, I'm going to skip the oil for the crock pot. So I'm not gonna put any olive oil or coconut oil. <laughs> All right, I have all two pounds of pork belly chopped up. I'm gonna pop them into the crock pot. I'm gonna wash my hands and then we'll put the rest of the ingredients together. As I mentioned, this dish is all about clean flavors and very few ingredients. So next, I'm gonna add ginger, garlic, and onion. I cut up about six slices of ginger. I'm just gonna drop those in. Ginger will be the predominant flavor in this dish. And if you're not a big ginger fan, go ahead and cut it in half, or maybe you only put two slices, but I have six slices in here. Next, I'm gonna add a few cloves of garlic. As you can see, these are really big garlic cloves. So I'm only gonna add two, but if you have normal sized garlic cloves, add three or four. All right, next, just cut up one white onion. All right, so just drop the onions in, roughly chopped. Have a sip of bourbon. Mmm, yummy. I have a bottle of drinking water that I'm gonna pour in until the pork belly is submerged. To that, I'm going to sprinkle some salt. And this time, I'm using whole peppercorns. This is a mixture of black and red peppercorn. I'm just gonna sprinkle in a little bit. Now, if you don't have whole peppercorns, go ahead and use freshly ground peppercorn or pre-ground peppercorn, um, or leave it out all together. Now, all I need to do is give this a good mix. Mmm, the ginger smells really good. We've had a really busy morning. It's already 2.30 in the afternoon, and I like to have this ready by dinner time. So I'm gonna set this on high let it go for an hour to two and check back in. At that point, I'll check to see the tenderness of the pork belly. If it's almost there, I'll put the rice in and finish the dish. It's been just over two hours. I'm all done with my bourbon. Let's check in on the pork belly soup and see how we're doing. Mmm. The first thing that I can smell is the ginger followed by the garlic. This is gonna be a really good heartwarming soup. I'm gonna fish out a piece of the pork belly and see where we're at. The pork belly has really good flavor. It's not quite tender yet, so it's gonna need at least another hour. But I think this will be a great time to put in the rice. Now I did mention I'm gonna skim some of the pork fat off the top, so I'll do that really fast. I skimmed some of the fat off the top and now I'm going to add some rice. I have some jasmine rice. And I'll probably just put in maybe about a quarter of a cup. I'll just give that a quick stir. One thing I noticed about adding rice to the crock pot is I do need to check in every once in a while and give it a stir, otherwise the rice doesn't cook evenly. I'm going to leave the pork belly soup on high and check back in half an hour, give it a stir and see where we are with the rice. The pork belly soup has been cooking for another hour. Uh, half an hour ago, I did check the rice and give it a good stir. So I'm gonna check in and see if it's ready to eat. Mmm. The rice looks nice and plump. I think it's ready to go. Oh man, that smells good. Mm. I can smell it all the way back here. I'll taste a piece of rice and make sure it's cooked all the way. Mm. Perfect. I'll turn the crock pot off and get this ready to serve. 
The pork belly is nice and tender. I'm just gonna scoop this in. You got some rice. And there you go, homemade pork belly soup with rice. Let's dig in and see how it is. Mmm. Oh, yummy. It's got great ginger flavor, subtle garlic flavor. You can definitely taste the pork in the broth. It's so good. I can't wait to dig in. I hope you enjoyed this episode of One Pot Meals with Kate. I'll see you next week and thank you so much for watching. Mm. I love this dish because it's so simple. It's basically a pork broth soup that has really good hints of like garlic. There's a nice undertone of ginger through it. And then you have the rice, which isn't really chewy. It's almost mushy now, but it's still keeping its form. And it all comes together in almost like this really comforting porridge. It's hard to explain, so I definitely suggest trying this. Uh, this is fantastic. And I also love the chunks of onion in here. I gotta say, I never had a uh, pork belly like this before I met Kate. And I just love the chunks of pork and fat that are in here. Oh, it's so good. Don't, don't cut off or bite off the fat. Eat it with the pork. Mmm.